Hi chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. Today I will be making a quick mac and cheese recipe. I'm going to start by bringing to boil four and a half cups of water on high heat. Whilst my water is boiling, I'm adding a small amount of unsalted butter. Once the butter is melted, I'm adding 3 cups of pasta, then I'm going to mix. I'm covering my pasta and I'm going to allow it to cook on medium heat until the pasta is semi-soft. I'm giving it a stir and I'm also checking to see the softness of my pasta. This shows that my pasta is cooked, so I'm going to remove it from the heat and drain it. Then I'm going to set it aside. For the next step, I have two large eggs in a bowl. I'm adding some seasoned salt to taste, as well as some garlic powder. Next, I'm using a fork to beat my eggs, but you can also whisk your eggs. Once the eggs have been beaten, I'm adding one cup of soy milk. You could also add regular milk. I'm also adding some Mexican blend cheese, about a handful. I'm using my fork to mix the cheese evenly with the egg mixture. I'm sprinkling a handful of grated Parmesan cheese, then I'm going to use my fork to mix it into the egg mixture. Where are we going? Where are we going this time? I'm tired of staying, playing out this lie. We were just trying, why are we dying inside all of this iron? I'm mixing in some butter to my pasta so that they don't stick together. That we need, that we need to grow, you keeping us below where we can go. Don't know why I refuse, I refuse to leave someone I should be behind, but it works out fine. I'm mixing my egg mixture before pouring it onto my pasta. Then I'm going to use my spatula to mix. Once I'm done stirring, I'm going to cook my mac and cheese on medium heat until all the cheese has melted. Whilst the mac and cheese is cooking, I'm going to stir occasionally. Once my cheese has melted, I'm going to add two handfuls of frozen sweet corn. Then I'm going to mix it into my mac and cheese. Cook the mac and cheese on low for an extra minute. 
then remove from the heat. For my final step, I have a medium sized deep baking dish that I'm going to spray with some butter cooking spray. While my oven is preheating at 350, I'm adding my mac and cheese to my dish. Now I'm ready to add my last ingredient. I'm sprinkling some Mexican blended grated cheese to cover my mac and cheese. I'm going to bake my mac and cheese on 350 for 11 minutes until all my cheese has melted. Yummers, look at this mac and cheese. Look how the cheese has melted at the top with a slight crust to it. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye.